Hello everybody, welcome to Northern Fell Running. Welcome to our new game show, it's called Bog Roulette. Lee, you want to gamble? Or are you going for the star prize? I'll gamble. Go for it. Hi everybody, welcome to Northern Fell Running. Today we're doing the horseshoe route. Jeeviet, Coomfell and Hedge Up. Let's go. Right everybody, welcome to today's mission. Morning Lee. Morning. We've got our friend Steve with us today as well. And Jack. We are going to do the hedge up and cheviot horseshoe. But we are gonna do it the cheviot hedge up horseshoe. Taking in the uh, beautiful Coombe Fell. Look forward to that now, Willie. <laughs> So here we go. Now we've just arrived at Cheviot Knee and Steve's just pointing out that the post has gone. So we're starting a new campaign. Northern Fell running, hashtag where's the post? Send your money in now. <laughs> All goes to a good cause. Yeah. Minimum donation ten pounds. Straight to the and Revel when we've got post box. Pounds, we'll go and buy a piece of wood and we'll put it in the <laughs> Right, and so why are we doing this loop today other than obviously the fact it's an interesting loop that we've not done before turns out this was also a race about 10 years ago it happened once and we are going the same direction anti-clockwise and it was hosted by none other than our friend Glenn McWilliams and his son Jack and I found the original flyer so here it is for you to have a look at and if you notice on the bottom right corner it says it's run by Cheviot Fell Runners so I wondered if that was a precursor to our club Cheviot Trail Runners might have been the seed planted back in the day by Glen. First incarnation. First incarnation of the club, Lee. The sun is up, believe it or not. How are we doing, Lee? Right, I'm just hoping we'll maybe break through this cloud a little bit and uh, see above it, get some clear shots. <laughs> Well guys, we're about halfway up. Steve and Jack are gonna go back down. Steve's got some family commitments, so thank you, Steve. Cheers. And we'll see you later. So here we go, some of the delightful peat bog. Oh, up on Cheviot. It's absolutely horrific. It really is. And it just doesn't give up. So, were you in this race 10 years ago? If you were, drop us a comment. Let us know what your, your memories of the day were, what was the weather like, what position you came, if you can remember who the winner was. I've had a look online. There's not much information. Sometimes these things, the results can be handwritten and they're just lost in time, so. Might be nice to 
have a little trip down memory lane for some of you. But let us know in the comments down below, that'd be great. Right then Lee, it's time. It's time for what man? What? <laughs> what do you want? We need, a, we need to talk about what happened on the goat. What are you seeing? There's a bloody video there, go and watch it. <laughs> Come on, tell everyone what happened. Well, yeah, quit. Quit, didn't I? Couldn't do it. Not that I couldn't do it. Well, you couldn't, couldn't do it. Couldn't move. <laughs> The knees, eh? Right, well you've just got to the point where my knees did say no and uh, anyone that says that a DNF is the easy way out, it might be for some people, but it uh, definitely wasn't for me. Uh, when when my knee first lock coming off Chibia, I initially I rang my mum. Um, not because I'm a mummy boy and all like that, but just... I was going to say that this is going badly downhill for you here, Lee. <laughs> you quit I, and you rang your mum. I knew she was following us on the tractor. Um, where's my wife? Um, probably wouldn't have been. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I told her what the crack was and that I think I had to pull out and that. And her reaction was, uh, well, yeah, I think this race is probably for the more professional type. And that one comment there made us see like a red mist. And How many point, more miles did that comment squeeze out of you? About eight. About eight more painful miles. Nice one, Mrs. Bormega. <laughs> but eventually, it got to the point where literally it was physically impossible for us to, to go any further. Well, <laughs> this is the last part of the climb up Chivis. It's normally a fantastic view, but today, unfortunately, that's it. Complete pea soup. Still some remnants of snow up here. I don't think we're going to get much more. We're quite close to the top now, so. Must have been quite a bit up here, but it's all melted pretty quickly. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> Every time I say, oh, we've missed, the, we've missed the rain, it pours down. What snow? What snow? <laughs> oh, that it's snow. What deep snow? Right. Here we go. Oh my God. Now this is slippy. <laughs> I've put my mud clothes on today and they are not responding well to those flagstones. It is like an ice rink. Jeez, uh, wheeze. Here we come to the gate anyway. Oh. Yep, mud claws and ice. Not a good combo. Weather's well, deteriorated a bit up here now, guys. Uh, a lot windier. It's sort of starting to try and snow. But we are finally on the, the flags. Next up, tree point. Fascinating fact from the top of the Cheviot here. That trig point is actually the third one. The other two have sank into the bogs. Look at all around us here on these flat paving slabs. These are lethal today, guys. Absolutely treacherous. Uh, yeah, it is absolutely better up here today. Wow, that's... Right, we've run for about a mile on the trig. And we've come to this finger post, sending us left to Coombe Fell. It is miserable up here today, like. Okay, we're heading down to Coombe Fell now. Right, this is the top of the valley. 
So we're directly between Hedgeup Hill and Cheviot now, Cheviot there, we're heading towards Hedgeup. So we're uh, bang on the halfway point at the moment. Whew. We may have a little surprise coming up for you when we get near at Hedgeup Hill. So stay tuned for that. Ooh, bloody hell, we've got a view. Let's see it over there. Excuse me, Lee. Sorry. Right, we're heading towards Hedgeup. Ooh, what a day. Now, for those of you that like doing obstacle course races, things like Tough Mudder and Total Warrior, why bother? Just come to the Cheviots. So, we're starting across the bog field on Coombe Felt. And, yeah. Oh, there we go. Right up to my knees. Oh, jeez. So, we're climbing back up again towards Coombe Fell. There's Lee behind. As you can see, it's sort of sleet, rain. But we've got a couple of miles to get a hedge up. And then a nice, fast descent. And we'll start to very quickly warm up, I would think. But, Lee's just said, I think it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Right, we're now gonna take a sharp left and follow this fence. I would imagine all the way to the top of Hedgerup Hill. <sighs> Via these lovely, gorgeous peat bogs. How delightful. So we're right in the middle of it now. Peat bog central. Hopefully Lee's gonna give the public what they want. So I'm keeping the camera on them. <laughs> Well, we're on top of Coombe Fell now and although it's very cold and uncomfortable it seems to have gone in our favour as all the peat bogs have frozen we're just walking over the top of them Look at Lee risking death staring it in the face Look, we're just running across the top It's like a Frozen slush puppy. The mists are just clearing off. But hedge up in front of us. Alright guys, we are arriving at Hedge Up Hill. Hedge up now and possibly leaving the clouds behind for the first time in about nine miles. Oh, yeah, right, guys, we're off Hedge up. We're on a place called Long Crags at the moment. Normally, Right in front of me here, you would be able to see Hedge Up and Cheviot. So, it's, lifting the it's horrible. It's absolutely lifting. But, here at Northern Felrun, we have the resources to show you a picture of what it looks like 
on a clear day. So check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> our surprise has arrived, but not on hedge up. Ah. We missed him. It's Glenn. Sorry about that. I've, I have actually been up. So I've, he says. I yeah, have, yeah, honestly. Whatever. I got to the top, <laughs> <laughs> dropped off the back, um, couldn't see a thing, and I just thought, when I saw the bogs, I can't face going through them Coomfeld bogs. So, so Glenn, I turned back. Yes. We've, we've obviously, today we've, we've run this, the, the Cheviot hedge up horseshoe yes we have discussed it was previously a, a previously sorry my face is still frozen it's frozen yeah previously a race hosted by yourself yes and our jack yeah why i know <laughs> terrific i'll be honest we only done it the once because we agreed we just thought that's it did and you go and mark it out or is yeah, it yeah yeah my did. Heart, god yeah yeah um i remember the day was a similar day i marked it out uh, it was it was unpleasant yeah it's, it's not a nice route Coomfels. It's not very runnable. It wasn't a yeah. day, that's for sure, because yeah. it was so yeah. horrible and icy uh, and boggy. But if anybody does like to give it a try, mm -hmm. as usual, down below there'll be the GPX route. Uh, I'll put the flyer. You can have a download of the flyer there as well if you want from the old days. That's it. And uh, we'll see you on the next video, won't we? We will. And don't forget to like like and subscribe <laughs> we're My all frozen, frozen. <laughs> <laughs> right thanks for watching guys see you in the next one